Zatoria was a social media site you may have not heard of, as it only released in January of this year. Despite that though, according to the founder within the time of it releasing in the 20th of January 2023, it had over 460 total users up to its shutdown on February 15, 2023. A swell with an average of 130 daily active users within that time. That would likely mean that Zatoria would have gained over 5,000 registered users within the first year or so, which is very impressive. Despite all of this, Zatoria actually has a very interesting history behind it. Such as it being taken down by Twitter themselves and then rebranded into Kalium. But, how did this all start? Wait wait wait. Before we begin this video, if you could, please subscribe and drop a like and leave feedback in the comment section on what I can improve on in my future projects. Love you all, and let's get back onto the video. Zatoria officially launched on the 20th of January, and was basically the Twitter green theme. At least it has a cute bunny. Anyway, it was very similar to Twitter. It did have some differences but it was almost identical. The few differences were the icon was their own logo, the green tint and the posts weren't too similar to tweets. The like button was replaced with a thumbs up button and the replies looked different. The general art style looked different and the settings looked different too. The logo as well, just looked really good. The logo depicted a green rabbit's face and the text had a strong 80s neon vibe to it. According to the founder, the reason for the name was because they always liked zoos and they liked a movie called Utoria, where all lived in peace. They combined it and got Zatoria. The style for the rabbit logo was that they have two rabbits and liked the idea along with the meaning behind the name. It was similar to the Twitter logo, themed with a bird, birds tweet, so Twitter got the name, well, Twitter. I'm sure you can see now that Twitter and Zatoria are very similar. It was pretty clear that Zatoria would eventually get noticed by Twitter. Hell according to the founder they had 5 whole takedown letters by Twitter demanding for them to take it down. Of course they were worried by this and put a poll on their profile asking what they should do. But that is still too far into Zatoria's future, we need to take a step back. Pretty early on, Zatoria hit 100 users on the site. That is a big milestone considering the platform wasn't up for even a full month, as it got taken down on February 15th of this year and released on the 20th of January. And they hit 100 users only 5 days after the release. Personally I think that is absolutely mind blowing. I struggled to get 100 subscribers, and that was freaking 3 years after I started uploading. So clearly people liked Zatoria. You would also think that people would just join for the lols, considering it looks like a Twitter ripoff. But actually, a lot of posts were just people sharing their opinions and what they're doing. Zatoria's community was basically 10 times better than Twitter's. Zatoria planned for many stuff with the site, such as getting paid for your posts which actually was finished and available. You could also get verified with a selfie and an ID. This may sound like a stupid way to verify someone, but it's actually pretty smart. You had to do this because of people possibly impersonating others. Personally I think this is a smart move on Kurt. Kurt is the founder of Zatoria so I will refer to them as that from now on. I can see how some people don't like the verification process though, but I don't mind it. Kurt also said Themself that if you already have a large following, and it is clear you are not an impersonator, you can just reach out to them and get verified. This verification process carries over to Kalium which is the new site for Zatoria. In fact, Kalium has most of the code from Zatoria itself. Anyway, after Aiden, a friend of mine who is also a staff member at Zatoria or aka Kalium sent me Zatoria and that is how I found it. I have many fond memories of Zatoria, I made some friends and gained a following. 
hell. I even made a creepy pasta called Zatoria Henoseed, based on the infamous Ahanababas Henoseed Facebook page. You can read it on my Wattpad if you do so wish yourself. Anyway, let's move on to a more in-depth history. Zatoria was originally something you may have heard of before. Discord, which lasted from 2018 to 2020. Nobody really knew it was owned by Kurt, but it had over 13,000 users and had the same style as Zatoria, before being shut down. The reason as to why is pretty upsetting, and I don't really want to go into too much detail, but it shut down due to Kurt being kicked out of his family and lived on the street. It's a pretty depressing story. According to Aiden, there was a site owned by Kurt which was similar to Roblox and Brick Hill, and it had around 500 to 1000 users. He doesn't know the exact number though, but it is a rough estimate. The site was called Planet Rune or UX Hill, but can't remember the exact name. Also, according to Kurt, there was advertisements for Zatoria and he spent over $700 on funding Zatoria. Yeah, so we uh, actually marketed it to over 3,000 people. We spent roughly around $700 on that advertisement. That is quite a lot of money but it was clearly worth it as Zatoria had over 400 users before he been shut down. One last thing, we already touched on this earlier, but Zatoria's logo was made because Kurt had two amazing rabbits that he loves, and he thought about the same with Twitter. And the fact that rabbits are friendly wholesome creatures, and the name was because he loved zoos. No, not those zoos and loved a movie called something like Utoria, about where all animals lived in peace something tells me he means Zootopia. Kurt combined them together, and out came Zatoria. Something else to mention is the green scheme design and UI of Zatoria, was because back in 2015 when they first got into web development, green was always their design choice. The reason why we call it Zootoria is due to the fact I like zoos. I liked the show called Utoria. I'm not exactly sure right now if that was the, its real name. And it was basically where all these animals lived in harmony and they basically were just like humans. How we did the logo is I currently have two rabbits and I normally base my site names and logos off of stuff that I see and it just clicked in my head like hey Twitter has a bird because birds tweet. Zootoria has a rabbit because rabbits can live in harmony. They don't attack you, they don't fight you and such on. So we pretty much just mashed it all together and came up with something brilliant. The reason for the color scheme is green was my theme ever since 2015 when I first got into web development. That's about all the information on Zatoria, so let's move on to the end of Zatoria's legacy. On roughly February 15th, 2023, Zatoria would get shut down by Twitter. This upset Kurt deeply, and quickly got to work on Kalium. According to Kurt, technically Kalium started development as soon as Zatoria launched, because Kalium is pretty much just an upgraded Zatoria site. Despite Zatoria being shut down, you can still find it on Google search, however you can't access it anymore but you can still see the domain and logo. But I wouldn't recommend going to it now as it seems to be unsafe right now because you get a warning when visiting it. So just keep safe and don't visit it, or if you really want to just make sure to have an antivirus ready. Anyway, on the 23rd of March 2023, Kalium would be released to the public. Within its first 24 hours, it had reached over 15 users. That may sound like a small number, but that is quite a lot for a social media site to get within under 24 hours. Also it has around 10 daily active users. 
Alien looks different to Zatoria, even after the current UI change update. Also Kurt told me Kalium's name may change soon so the name may be slightly updated but I don't give a anyway, before Kalium released. According to Kurt its development technically started the same time Zatoria's did. I already said this before so I will not describe it more. Anyway, when Kalium first released it looked like this. Definitely looked much different to Zatoria. Kalium to many looked like a mashup with Twitter and Discord. You could message, call. Welcome to Kalium's calling feature. <laughs> Video call, screen share, and join groups with other people. It also has a similar vibe to Roblox. And after the UI design when stories were introduced it looked more like Instagram or TikTok too. The stories may have existed before though and I missed something, but it definitely was more seeable after the update. According to Curtis Well, they plan on releasing a desktop app, more proving the Discord connection, a Linux app, an Android port and finally an iOS one. However Kurt says the iOS one may not release until 6 months from now unfortunately. Don't get mad at Kurt for this as that is just how Apple and with their app store works. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have quite a bit of you plan on getting a Android 500 USD if we want to do it the cheapest way possible. Um, but all applications have already been programmed and are ready to go as soon as we get the okay for everything. It's like everything is like available, if that makes sense. It will like release on mobile and stuff like that. that uh, yes. So we will be going uh, Windows desktop and then uh, Linux, Android, iOS. As most of our user base is uh, desktop users, so we want to make sure to hit them first with all the uh, most recent updates. It is much easier to make an application for Windows and Linux, and a bit harder for the Google Play Store. Any developer will know what I am talking about. Anyway, when I got word that Zatoria was backed by Aiden, you know I created an account. The first account I made on there was called Zatoria, basically just because I missed the old Zatoria. But then I thought, no, I am not Zatoria. Then created my new main account called SBG or aka Super Binary Games, onto the site. I was mind blown by how impressive this site was. Also, I'm just gonna pipe in here for a sec, Kalium is rapidly evolving. As I am writing this Kurt told me they are working on integrating chat GPT right now. But more on that later. Anyway, let's continue with where we left off. So, as I was exploring and was able to get in touch with Kurt. There, I was able to get some cool exclusive information regarding Zatoria and Kalium and that is how I am able to write this script for this video. Also there is some information Kurt told me but I am not allowed to reveal them in this video, but they are cool. Anyway, Kurt agreed to hop on a VC and answer some of the questions in real time. He did answer these in text which is also why I show some of the messages, we just thought it would be better if it was with his voice. But before that, Kurt released the new UI update with better CSS and was incredible. Kurt was even generous enough to add an old UI option so we can see the past. We also then saw the previously mentioned stories feature along with this update, a swell with generally more user-friendly design. Also, remember when we talked about how Kalium was basically just Zatoria? Kurt even said himself that the admin panel is just the exact same, just slightly altered. Kurt also gave me the verification badge. Pretty cool. Anyway, there isn't too much else to talk about, besides the small update where it now shows the user ID. Which is just something that appears next to someone's name that tells you what user number they are. Like for example, I am the 8th person to have joined the site on my main, and the 6th to have joined on my old Zatoria one. The site was also less clustered than the old UI. Also, Kurt is working on a chat GPT feature because Kurt said himself. The chat GPT functions and integrations of it is we're basically 
working side by side open ai the company that created chat gbt to give us a discount on x amount of tokens that we're using aka requests we want to make it to where if you have a problem you can come right to Calium, ask an ai your problem and they're able to help you ai is one of the fastest growing revolutions of the 21st century which in my opinion is a great way to impart an ai chatbot Kurt and their team is also working on a bot feature similar to Discord's which just makes Kalium much more interesting than other social platforms. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we have a feature called Pages and Groups. We plan on integrating a lot more Discord function to it. So you'll be able to create your own categories and roles for people that are in the group and page. There's voice calling in it, and you're going to have a lot of stuff that you're going to need moderated. Well, if you're able to then go and create your own bot system for it, then you can have economies in your group. You can have streamers moderate their groups and allows young people to learn new skills that they could then go and use in this newer AI future that we're moving into where everything is technology. Other stuff in the future is some interesting stuff. Such as the movies and games features, such as the games page which can support stuff like Roblox and Brick Hill and you can play it, then it will load into the client. Where if you have a video around 2 hours long you can set it as a movie. Kurt was generous enough to let me have early access to these features. I can show the feature but the video quality is terrible. OBS really hated me making this video. They've also partnered with a couple companies too. Kurt also doesn't like the problem with newer sites basically just wanting your data to sell it. You can also make blogs, as well as in the future HTML to create your very own website. Anyway, let's finish up this video. Kalium or you could still call it Zatoria, definitely will become much bigger in the future. It isn't just a social media site, it's an all-in-one platform. It has messaging, coding, stories, movies, games, and calling. Which has some interesting ringtones. Kurt is also such a friendly person. So please don't harass anyone in this video. I might even cut that out there's no reason to harass anyone. Anyway, I would recommend you join Kalium and give me a follow if you are feeling generous. The link to it will be in the description below. Also literally like right now I just got mod like how in the world did we get here? Anyway, Kurt thinks you should like and subscribe, and I agree. Go do it right now. Anyway I will see you all in the next one you little devils. Goodbye.